1984, Hasbro held the U.S. license to the Diaclone and Microchange toy lines. These toys, produced in Japan by Takara, had no storyline, so Hasbro approached Marvel Comics to create a backstory and mythology to tie them into one cohesive line. Writer Bob Budiansky of Marvel created names and personalities, as well as a rich history for the toys. And through this collaboration, the Transformers were born. The heroic Autobots and evil Decepticons have left their dying homeworld of Cybertron to find precious resources and brought their war to Earth. The first series of toys consisted of 28 figures, and today we'll be taking a look at the heroic Autobot mini car, Wind Charger, here on Creed's Collection. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Creed's Collection. Today we are taking a look at the Autobot Wind Charger from the 1984 toy line Transformers by Hasbro. The Transformers are robots in disguise hiding in plain sight here on Earth as their centuries-old war continues. Both require energy to function, but the Autobots prefer peaceful acquisition of resources while the Decepticons take them forcefully. Wind Charger is one of six mini cars from the first series of Transformers and is known for his enthusiastic yet impatient personality. Preferring quick, decisive action, Wind Charger uses tremendous energy and tends to burn himself out. And now that we've had our introduction to the Transformers and covered a little bit of Wind Charger's personality, let's go ahead and take a closer look at his vehicle mode. Wind Charger's vehicle mode is a 1983 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. And if you don't pay attention to the oversized tires, it actually looks really good. It's a nice sculpt. Some standout details include the hood scoop, the T-tops, and the rear window shade. I'm not sure who decided to put the monster truck tires on it. It's a weird choice, but I do appreciate that the rims have a little bit of extra detail, so points for that. Windcharger's tires are made out of plastic, but they actually do roll pretty well. I prefer it when the Transformers have rubber tires, but most of the mini cars have the plastic. Before I move forward and transform Windcharger, I just want to point out that he used to have an Autobot symbol on his hood, and mine has fallen off through the years. Also, my Windcharger is a pre-rub transformer, so all Transformers produced after 1985 had this heat activated sticker that allowed you to see what they were. And none of the 1984 versions had this. It always seemed pointless to me though because there's always another symbol easily found right on the figure. And now we'll go ahead and transform Wind Charger into robot mode. To do this, you're gonna start off by taking the back of the car and flipping it down. That's gonna form his feet and legs. Then you'll flip him over I'm gonna grab on the side here and gently wiggle this part out and that forms one arm and then just repeat the process on the other side. And there you go. You have, oh, let me fix that. There you go. You have transformed Wind Charger into robot mode. Wind Charger's robot mode is basic yet effective and I feel like both modes are great for as small as he is. Sure, it would have been nice to see rubber tires and maybe even a swivel waist, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. We'll get into articulation in a minute. Wind Charger's robot mode is pretty faithful to the cartoon if you exclude his face. On the show, he didn't have the face mask covering his mouth and nose, and he didn't have the black visor over his eyes. His face was much more human. However, you could argue that he is wearing a battle mask over his face to protect it, so it's no big deal. As I'm sure you can tell from these close-ups, the figure is in excellent shape still. It has very little damage at all. Since Wind Charger is a Series 1 Transformer from 1984, he has been reimagined several times throughout the years and is one of the most popular Transformers. He's been in the cartoons, he's been in the comic books, he's been represented in toys, and he was even voiced by Dwayne The Rock Johnson in Transformers Prime. And that didn't go to his head at all. Sizzle reporting for duty, sir! What'd you say your name is? Oh, it's Sizzle. It doesn't matter what your name is. Is you he still talking role, like bro. The Rock? Yeah, dude. It was one What's show. Yeah, dude. I am the most electrifying transformer in cartoon entertainment. Now I'll take a look at Wind Charger's articulation. Due to his transformation, he does have the bendable knees and he also has shoulders that can be swiveled up and swiveled back down. And that is it. He only has four points of articulation. Still though, not bad for a Transformer. 
It took me a while to find it, but his stamp is on the back of his leg. It's a car of Japan. It's strange, though, that they don't actually have a year recorded on him. Here's Windcharger's tech spec. Pause now if you'd like to read it. And now for our He-Man size comparison. Windcharger is about half the size of He-Man, but the mini car's main purpose is to be couriers and spies, so their small size is perfect for those purposes. Everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my toy review for Windcharger from the 1984 toy line Transformers by Hasbro. As far as the mini cars go, Windcharger was definitely one of my favorites, mostly because he turns into a Pontiac Firebird, I have to admit. And I think we can all agree that's a lot cooler than a VW Bug. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts, please leave a comment. I love reading and responding to them. And while you're at it, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it and it would help my channel grow. I review a toy for my vintage collection every Wednesday. So I hope to see you next week and every week after here on Creed's Collection.